What's going on guys? So another how-to video. Uh, this one is going to be on my needle fish. Um, I make two different sizes. I make a three ounce and a two ounce. The, uh, these are the threes. The two ounces, I didn't have any two ounces on me today. They're in my other bag. So, um, so basically I want to just go through, you know, how to fish them, what they're constructed of and so on. So, uh, solid resin body. Okay. And what makes mine a little bit unique is, you know, you hear a lot of guys load their needle fish, right? Well, you don't have to load these. These are already loaded, preloaded. I mean, they're just, they're weighted differently as far as I weight mine throughout the whole entire body. Okay. Which, first of all, it's going to come through the water more horizontal than ass down, which is important because that looks more natural than that. All right. So, um, you know, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned through wired, fully, you know, made of resin. Uh, this is my, one of my go-to colors, especially in the spring. The uh, If I need to cast really, really far, the squid pattern, and then I have the block island green. These two, you can't just, you need these in the bag if you're a serious striper fisherman. So, um, two ounce version, uh, definitely resembles, you know, the sand deals, which you guys know the sand deal bite right now is absolutely killer. I took a lot of orders for the sand deal pattern in the two ounce and the three ounce. Um, also this two ounce version definitely represents something like a little silver side or a, you know, spearing or, you know, sand lance, you name it. Uh, it's any kind of small, slim bait fish because I'm a big profile guy. All right. I like if, you know, if I know there's an abundance of bait fish in the water, I'm going to throw something that is resembles that particular bait fish profile wise. That's why I make my gliders in different shapes and so on and so forth. Uh, so how to reel these things in? Okay. I know a lot of guys are kind of scared of needlefish. I get questions all the time about, you know, needlefish, it doesn't do anything in the water. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> they don't do anything in the water, but they produce really, really, really well. Um, they're, again, meant to resemble those those slim bait fish. Now, what you do, cast out and start reeling and have the rod tip high, all right? You can work these right near the surface if you wanted to. If you know if you're dragging the bottom, just lift the rod, reel a little bit quicker, get it up to the surface, and then, you know, it'll level right out, all right? Uh, what's important is you can impart some action on these. You can get a little rod twitch here and there, okay, to get it to kind of just dance a little bit. That's really important. Or uh, what you can do is as you're reeling, okay, have your finger hit touch the line. If you're using a, a spinning rod or a spinning reel, have your finger touch the line as you're reeling. As you're ticking, it's tick, 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 tick. That little action right there can make all the difference. If you're using any kind of like bait casting stuff, which I use a lot of bait casting stuff, I just give a quick little twitch of the reel handle and just gets it to dance. Just a little. That little subtle action can be enough, a little vibration in the water, and uh, they'll attack it. So a lot of different colors you can throw. I, I mentioned the ones on the two ounce version, three ounce version, same exact thing. Uh, let's go with eel patterns. Uh, definitely eel, black, blurple. You know, they're meant to be fished at night, but I do really well with them, you know, in broad daylight. Early morning, uh, you know, you can throw these as well, especially when the fish are busting way out in the fall run, and you need to reach them, and they'll hit, you know, they're just aggressive, throw a needlefish, okay? Um, yeah, so like I said, I took a bunch of uh, orders for the sand eel pattern I just released not too long ago because, I mean, I know you guys, the sand eel bite's been incredible. You just never know. Sometimes it's sand eel, sometimes it's mullet, sometimes it's bunker, uh, you know, you name it. So you just never know. So it's really important to have those colors in the bag at all times. Get the fall bag ready to go. Uh, any questions you guys have? Uh, on how to fish and deal fish, anything I've missed, again, send me a message and I'll be happy to help you out. Um, you can find these in some shops. Uh, I think I think Fisherman Source has them. Uh, the Surfcaster has them. I believe M&D's Tackle, M&D's Outfitters has them. Um, the Tackle Box might have some. Uh, Betty and Nick's might have some. So, yeah, this I can look into it. Uh, and who's has them, I could just, you know, look it up. And, uh, if you can't find them, let me know and I'll get you in or suggest to your local shop that you want to get them in. And, uh, I'm sure they will. All right, guys. I hope everybody's having a great fall run. It's been really, really good. It's actually still doing well here in, in Rhode Island. There's still some nice fish in Rhode Island. It's November 1st right now. So, 
Uh, yeah, definitely get out there and fish. And uh, I appreciate the support. Again, any questions you have, you know, send me a message, email, Facebook, Instagram, all those things. All right, guys, have a good day and tight lines.